I want to tutorial one on uh, the old scores construction set in Privium. Uh, today I'm just going to show you uh, basically how to use it, uh, basic commands and the layout and what all these windows are. Uh, to start off you just want to basically just download construction set from the website. Uh, to do that simple just go to Google. It'll have a load. And just type in test construction set. And go to the Art Schools website and just download the installer uh, here. Make sure you don't download this one. This is for the sh Shivering Isles and the Knights of the Nine content. Uh, I tried downloading that one by mistake the other day. Uh, you want to install this one by here. I'll put the link of this in the description of the video for you. And once you download it, you should get a page like this. Just go to File, Data, and then you should get a list of all the uh, Oblivion files. Now you probably have Knights of the Nine by here or Shivering Isles as well if you have them expansions or any mods you have downloaded will also turn up by here like uh, here's all the swords I've been testing out that I made so they're by here but I don't need them at the moment so what I'm going to do is double tick d double click this box by here to tick it and this is oblivion.esm and it's a master file so uh, that is just the main file of Oblivion. Then just want to click OK. Wait for it to load. You will probably get a uh, not responding error. That's just because it's trying to load so much at one time. Just have to wait really. And with some magic of film edit then, it's done in its time. And here we go. Uh, here you will get the object window this is items actors NPCs uh, magic you never you really use magic miscellaneous yeah you don't really use that either and world objects that's the one you'll usually use just make sure they're minimized first and items we I mentioned that stuff like weapons uh, yeah Weapons, uh, armor, ammo, ammo, uh, arrow, sorry, stuff like that. And down here you get Salvu. This is basically areas in Oblivion. And up here you have render, render window. Uh, this is when you load up a cell. It will show up in in the render window. And you get something like this when you double click on it. Press A on your keyboard and yeah, it'll put in artificial light then so you can see what you're doing. And this basically does look exactly like you will in the game. Which I think is quite cool myself. Uh, it's just me, I'm sad. And uh, here's some basic commands are. Uh, say you want to move this guy to left or right, uh, you just left, use the mouse and left click, drag them around. Uh, if you want to rotate them, hold the right mouse button. If you want to move the screen, hold the uh, scroll button to zoom in, scroll, move it up and down. Uh, to move the screen, also you can hold space bar. Uh, and to rotate around an object, hold shift. Uh, and say you got an object who is up like that now, after you just dropped them in from the object window, you just want to press F and you will drop them down to the floor. Well, not the floor, but like, uh, see now we add him up above that, that table there. When I drop him, he'll drop to the table. Just want to then make sure he's not in the way of any tables. And, uh, to drop an object into there, you just want to find an object, try a weapon. 
and just drag it into the window just double click it there and drag it and should get it like that It'll be pretty close up and we see it here I think here now it's about there but it may not be it may be a bit further back so hard to tell and yeah I was right uh, it's kind of hard to see where there is uh, to solve that just go down and press T and go down at the top view it's kind of hard though when you go when you are doing it in the building and they just rotate like I told you earlier and stuff like that uh, just press the delete button if you want to delete any objects and up here we just go basically file a save uh, edit view uh, stuff like that basic just have a look through that if you yourself if you want to uh, just show you quickly how to save a mod say you just drop the sword in there and you want that sword to come up now in the game then just go to file save and basically just type in the name for it and then just click save and then when you load up Oblivion just go to date the files and then make sure the box is checked sorry I just clicked and install and that's basically about it for today uh, the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to uh, add NPCs into the game and then edit what items they have thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe